Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles, and I am getting ready to do a soap, but while my lye is cooling off, I am going to go ahead and give you a tour of my new soap room. I have tried to film this video about eight times, and every time something happens, and I got all the way to editing the video, and it refuses to save to my computer. So here I am once again doing another room tour. What you are seeing right now, this used to be my daughter's room, my 14 year old, and she had to move out of here because the electricity doesn't work and half the plugins doesn't work. So we turned it from her room to a playroom to my soap room. And what you're seeing right now is something that she put on the wall, and I absolutely love it. It says, Stay true to who you are. So I'm going to see if I can get this to be a quick and easy video for you. What we have over here is all my candles. This is a really big, um, a really big, what you call it, it's a stand, or I call it a rack, yeah. And up here, I just have my little 8 ounce candles, and I've got some 10 ounce ones over there. And then down here, I've got some 10 ounce candles around some 14 ounce candles. And then at the very bottom, there is my carrier oils. I've got my olive oil, rice bran oil, castor oil, and my emulsifying wax. And then over here, this is just a bookshelf that has been through my kids, and they don't use it no more. See, it's got teddy bears on the side. And I've turned it into a, a soap rack. And I'm sorry if the lighting isn't too great in here. I've got two lamps, and that's all I have for the lighting, and it's not very bright outside. So coming over here, wow, turn that light the other way. Face it up that way. Sorry, didn't mean to blind you guys. Up that way. Okay, there's my daughter. Say hi. Hi. Uh, over here in this tub, I've got my uh, coconut oil, and there's some specialty candles, and then below that, that is my colorants, but the colorants that are in a bag. I have a little bookshelf that's in my kitchen with all my colorants in it, and then this is my other big rack, and starting from the bottom... Uh, before I got the 50 pound pail of coconut oil, I would get, oh, excuse me, Lena, that's my little girl, that's my four year old. Uh, before I got the 50 pound pail, I got my coconut oil from Walmart, so that's what that is. Over here is my citric acid, and then right there is my Purex crystals, and then, um, a bar of Zote soap. I make my own laundry detergent, so that's in here because of that. And then over there, I have some specialty oils. And behind that, I've got some olive oil. And then up on this rack, and you can see how bad the walls look behind that. Up on this rack, I have my cutter. So my cutter's right there. And then up here, um, some of them are being used right now, but these are my measuring cups, and then I've got my paper towels, and then right here, get down, right here, I have my vanilla color stabilizer, and then this, please don't ask me to pronounce it, because I can't, but all it is is vitamin E, and I got that from Soper's Choice, and it was pretty inexpensive, and then up here, I've just got some containers and some tool. And then this little thing right here, that's fingernail polish. But what's inside of it, oops, what's inside of it is my butt, uh, my ribbon. And the color ribbon I use to package my soaps is pink, black, and white. So there's those. And then over here is my collection of herbs. I do a shampoo bar. And I also do specialty face bars for uh, maturing skin and also for acne prone skin. That's what a lot of those base oils down there are for. Well, specialty oils. And then I have herbs, fresh herbs to go with that. Then over here, I've got my Tessa Silk. And these are my um, bath bomb um molds that I got and I was highly disappointed in them because they looked a lot bigger on the website I got them off Etsy and I wasn't too happy with them 
And then back here is just my silicone um, cupcake molds. And then over there is my titanium dioxide. And you guys, if you've not tried Wholesale Supplies this Plus titanium dioxide, you need to. It's absolutely wonderful. I get the water dispersible kind. And you know how titanium dioxide tends to thicken up your trace? This one will not. This one will not thicken up your trace. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold. Then down here, I've got my embeds, and here's just some roses, and this is some flowers and butterflies, and this is a soap mold, and it's just the little flower mold. Then over here, I've got my blackberry mold, and my small raspberry mold, and my big raspberry mold, and then my ball mold, which is there. And I also have another tool to make soap balls, but I'll show you that in a minute. But those are all the embed molds that I have right at this minute. And then over here, this is uh, some of my curing soaps. And it's got, um, I used to have my house plants in it, but I do not have a green thumb, guys. All my house plants die. Even my bamboo died. I mean, seriously, I just cannot keep a plant alive. But I can manage to keep four kids alive, but I can't manage to keep a plant alive. That's kind of funny. But they're, they have my soaps that are curing on them. And don't mind the floor. It's not been vacuumed. I actually need to get another um, band for my vacuum cleaner I have a Kirby and my um, my vacuum cleaner band broke so if you can see down there underneath one of the soaps is a white piece of paper and that is my new system and what I do is after I make a soap I just write down on a piece of paper what the name of the soap is see what the name of the soap is, the date that I made it, and then the date it'll be cured. So that one here is Wild Berries. I made it on the 15th, and it'll be cured on the 28th. So over here, I've got some more curing soaps at the bottom. But starting up here, here is my Rustic Essential um, fragrance oils. And then over here, I have one from Nurture Soap, which I absolutely love. And then my very expensive, not worth it fragrance from Mad Oils. I got that one from Mad Oils. It was, oh my God, it was outrageously expensive. And it's... It smells horrible. It smells like pine. That's the only thing it smells like is pine. And if I wanted a pine scent, I would have went with a cheaper one. And then down here is just my mismatch uh, fragrance oils. It's just ones I don't have a lot of. And they, they might have some in it or they might be full. But it's just companies that I don't order from normally. And then over here is my palm oil. And yes, it is sustainable palm oil, guys. I made sure it's from a reliable source and then over here is my baby if you guys cannot tell I am a fragrance oil nut I love fragrance oils I absolutely love them so starting over here these black ones here are all from Kindle Science and I would say 80% of them are not skin safe but that's okay because I can use them for my candles and I absolutely love the company and then over here I have some from the flaming candle company and I really don't order from them there's only a select few since that I do order from from the, this company and it's only because I can't find the scents anywhere else you know one of them I'll go up close being beautiful day I love this fragrance but I can't find it anywhere else yes it's amazing and then over here I have my bitter creek fragrances and then down here all right sorry about that guys had to get on my kids for a second and it seems like I'm constantly stopping to get on my kids anyway um down here is my amazing find I absolutely love this company and I'll get up close it's the Maple Street Candle Company and um I adore their fragrance oils and when I say they're cheap I mean they're cheap guys they are on sale right now for $13.99 for a 16 ounce fragrance and every single fragrance I have gotten off them has been absolutely amazing and then behind there and please don't mind my boys they're fighting over their new DS so my husband's getting on to them 
a DS2, sorry, um, it's a DS, it doesn't matter. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, back here is my Candle Maker Store fragrances. And if you've seen my fragrance hauls, then you'll know that it's either a hit or a miss with that company. I mean, they're only $12.99 for a 16 ounce fragrance. So you either get a good one or you get a bad one. It just depends. And then over here is all of my Nature's Garden fragrances. And that goes all the way back. And then over here is my Aztec. And I absolutely love Aztec. Every Everything I've gotten from that company has been amazing, and they are cheap as well. They're only $14.99, so that is good. And then down here, I just have some of my candle supplies. Those are just my candle containers. Like, the, right here is my 16-ounce containers, and then over here is my 12-ounce containers, and then in this big box down here is my 8-ounce and 16-ounce tins. And then moving over here in this drawer, the only thing I have in this drawer is some scotch scissors. And you guys, scotch scissors is the best scissors to get. They are wonderful. And I also have some shrink wrap bands. And like I said earlier, my little pieces of paper that I write down the soaps on. And then some cardstock and some name tags. And then in this drawer... I have all my piping material and my cookie cutters. Here's my pipettes. And then here's some of my cookie cutters. There's one. And then here's another one. That's hearts. And then this one is stars. And then I have my piping tips. This one isn't really full. But this one right here is completely full. So I've got those. Then I got the big piping tips. Um, I got two of these. I just haven't used this one yet. And then down, down here, I have my piping bags. And this one's the small one. This one's the large. And then back here, I've got my Kalen clay. That's where I keep my Kalen clay. So let's put that back in there. And then this bottom drawer, as I mentioned earlier about soap balls, um, Karen over at Eden Secret uses a melon baller to make soap balls out of cold processed soap. So I went and got one. It was only 88 cents at Walmart. It's got a small side and a big side. And then I also have a brand new pair of Scotch scissors. I plan on using this for my cello. Um, paper wrap that I'll be wrapping my soaps in and then some tops to my candles some my jars are in there and I think that is it guys and the room is not done completely I just was impatient and couldn't wait to show you guys everything so there's another tour of it and all my herbs and my drying spice uh, drying soaps and all my fragrance oils and then my beautiful, beautiful daughters, still dressed for church. My littlest one is. And then all my candles. And then there is my son. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and then back to my, back to the quote that I absolutely love. Stay true to who you are. So you guys stay true to who you are and never change. So if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, comment. I love it when you guys comment. So until my next video, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.